Hello and welcome to another exciting episode of Let's Play Minecraft with me, Klaus. Today we'll be starting uh, the episode off in my test world because um, I was already here and I was doing some um, reconfiguration. So I wanted to record it and show you guys the progress. So you know, we'll get stuck in. Uh, over there I've prepared something but for now I want to show you something funny. Oh, they did it before. Strange. <laughs> it's a it's a it's a zombie shower. Yeah, this is uh, the number of blocks it, uh, they don't die. I think it's twenty three blocks, but twenty four blocks somehow they die. Uh, I or originally had it where I got about forty on this one block, and they kind of merged into each other, and then I pushed them all off, and they kind of all spread out. So it was more kind of like a water balloon effect. So I'll see you guys over there on my other uh, on my other thing. Yeah, you guys are funny. Stop stealing my stuff! Okay, so this is looks about the basic layout of my uh, pig killing machine. Uh, I haven't done the underground bit yet. That's the only problem I'm having, I guess. It's um, This I closed off the edge because I didn't want pigs jumping out. So this is how it should work-ish. So I'm going to get some... Unbelievable. I've been in this world testing out some random stuff. And I still don't know how to use this thing. So let's see. Pigs, pigs, pigs. Okay, let's uh, throw a pig in here. And I think we fixed some of these problems. The pigs would come up here. Oh, no, no, no. This part shouldn't be there. Okay, so pigs should come up now, I think. Huh, I wonder why. Okay, so pigs are coming up. I think they were getting stuck on these fences, so I'm going to take these fences out. I'm going to put blocks on top to stop the pigs from jumping out first. And then I'm going to do this, do this, do this, do this, this, and this. So, um, the pigs can't jump out here, but the problem I was having, I got a suggestion saying put half slabs. So, here. Oh, okay. No, 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 no. That's bad, that's bad. Ah, you know what? You run. I had the top of this pig thingy covered in my other version, so uh, I'll just add that in now. Okay, so that's sort of... I can see them. I guess I'll try and put them on top. Um, Better, I guess. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, thanks for... Um, I'll credit. Uh, I'll find the comments and I'll credit them uh, once I've gotten changed. But the thing is, still this bit. The the only other part I'm still worried about is crush the pig. The the pig got stuck back in. No wait, did it? Mm. So the pig is stuck in there now. Huh. Anyway, the thing I was thinking because I haven't actually. Like the the killing machine, the slaughtering machine underneath doesn't actually work, so maybe I'm gonna build an extension to this bit. So this bit will go up to here, and the wall will like, keep extending. What if I just extended the water stream like this, and just ran the wires for these two across uh, across the top? So basically, what I would do is. Normally these would be shut. Um, how would this happen? How would this happen? <gasps> I've got it. Okay, so I'm gonna come down here, put here. Um, yeah, I've got still got fences. Okay, I'm pretty sure pistons can still uh, move fences. Yep, yes they can. So that's uh, that's the idea I'm going with now. I'm going to put... Um... Oh boy. <laughs> this sounded so much better in my head. So much better. Let's see. I wonder if I put a... Just move. Move. If I put it there. And put a switch here. No. Uh, 
but the pigs will be able to get in to that space. I'm going to try it out. I'm going to load this thing with pig again. Obviously, there won't be this many in the actual thing unless I overbreed them. But let's see. So I've got. Mm, okay, there is slight complication again. You know what? I'm just gonna. What is that? That's a tiny baby pig. What the? Anyway, I'm gonna end this recording and I'm gonna just completely scrap this idea and build a completely new one. So I'll see you guys in a second. Okay, let's um, do some credits first. So this uh, half slab idea was given to be my uh, to me by in Creeper Intruder, long time viewer, has helped me from the very very start. And this is the basic version of the new uh the new farm I wanted to build. Uh so well change into not build. It's just so the idea is this area this this hole essentially is going to be the killing chamber, the whole uh cooker as it were. And over here there will be a switch and there is this sort of works like a T flip flop. I don't know what to call it. And if you look over here, over there the gate is closed currently and the water is flowing ahead. And the obviously the pigs slash cows or whatever will flow straight into this hole. This hole will represent the killing chamber. There is nothing to change about the killing chamber. Just where you position it. So that is where the killing chamber will be. But normally it will be covered which where's the lever? Uh, which is this option here. So as you can see, I flip the switch and the pistons closest to the wall here have oh, uh, have extended, therefore blocking off this killing chamber and uh, so the animals can flow back into the uh, field. I'm not sure how much how e well how practical this is, so I'm gonna quickly seal this up and we will take it for a test run so bear with me for literally two seconds and we shall see let's see uh, I had a roof extending over this and whoops whoa, whoa, that could have been bad and let's just uh, go from here I hope I actually hope this works because um, this that whole idea over there is uh, kind of I just came up with it on the spot for thinking about for 20 minutes. So, yeah, so pigs, 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 da 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 da. So, this is, um, I'm going to get some wheat. Uh, where is the wheat? So, this method is sort of, um, as they go past, they get bread. Oh, yes, it, they don't run on wheat anymore, do they? They run on carrots. So, I'm going to take some carrots and I'm going to breed them as they come past. So as you can see, we can see them ish. It, it's a bit hard, I guess, but you know, that's just kind of you're gonna have to deal with it. So you can see them, but they can't get out. And looking at them, they are flowing back into circulation quite easily. Obviously this won't be a loop, otherwise it's just kind of stupid. There will be an open pasture field like in my LP world. This is where it's going to be implemented in my LP world. So it's going to be a big field and they're just going to go back into the field and there will be another chamber where they'll hop in and stuff like that. So I'm going to flip the switch and I am going to... There we go. So they have... Oh, oh dear. Oh dear. There's a pig stuck in there. Can we get him out of there? So the pigs are happily flowing into this killing chamber now, and oh, damn it, that didn't quite count. What the? How are they doing that? Did they, did did you guys just see that? They jumped out of a too too deep hole. Okay. Anyway, it didn't help that I was holding the carrot and luring them. So yeah, I'm gonna uh, put some more pigs in here. And I'm gonna watch them to see if they naturally go into here. Let's see. They're fighting the current quite a bit here. And it doesn't it still doesn't seem like they want to 
Otherwise, it's just this pig. It's just this pig, the troublemaker. Okay, so the pigs are... Okay, the, the small one got past them. Obviously, this is the very, very rough draft. So, um, everything is flowing, and the pigs are falling into that. So, this is a very, very dr rough draft. I will, obviously, uh, this looks very, very stupid out in the open. So, I will find a way... Uh, as you can see in this test world, I haven't done it quite well. It's um, three deep and then it's bedrock. So I can't really do stuff on the ground, so most of it's going to be above ground. Yeah. But it's working quite well, this idea. Um, let's see. The problem is I need an override switch for when I want to breed them, because this is mainly for... Oops. This is to operate the killing and the, the, uh, the recirculation. But if I want to breed them, I would preferably like both of these pistons to be extended hmm I guess I could just extend it this way um, I can have like a piston here like uh, I'm just gonna quickly put this down actually I need a sticky piston don't I well anyway the idea is you extend another block uh, down here, and obviously there will be some redstone between this repeater and this uh, torch. And the re uh, the re the ugh, can't talk today. The, the piston will extend down and move a block into place, so the current will go from here and travel across. So both pistons will be extended at the same time, and I guess that will be the override switch. I'll have it like a breeding um, a breeding switch. So you press it and then it extends down. And when you don't want it, you can just press it and it comes up again. So, or have a lever. That, that would be a better idea. So this is going to be my new um, idea, I guess. The cows one will be pretty much the same because the two contraptions are pretty much the same. And um, I'll be able to... Um, put this section into play because on the left hand side normally like if you're looking at this um, normally on the left hand side it's very very barren and there's like a chunk missing as well so I can put uh, I can all work it into that so yeah that's gonna be my that's gonna be my new uh, new new killing and breeding system so yeah we'll get to implementing this soon Let's see, what other thing? Oh yes, the chicken one. So I'll go rebuild the replica over there and I'll see what ways we can use to kill them. I'll see you guys in a second. Okay, so I have taken a cross section of... I'm basically, the only thing that concerns me right now is the cooker of the chicken. And I went on YouTube and looked at, I typed in chicken farm 1.4 just you know to look at other people's designs and stuff and I came across a guy called Jack's form L I'm gonna write it out for you guys it's Jack uh, for mail so search for this guy this guy is the credit for this this part of the contraption so basically I what I had before was I had chickens on the full level so it was appearing in they were appearing here and they were obviously the things uh, the cooked chicken was not coming out all the feathers were not coming out and looking at his his design I think it's a his I've forgotten anyway so uh, I'm gonna stick to my original idea of having chickens floating on top but I'm gonna raise the um, dispenser by one and I'll show you why so I'm gonna throw some chickens in here Obviously, there won't be, you know, flying down that easily. And this is basically the concept idea of what we have um, um, on our chicken farm in our LP world. Now, obviously, the torch retracts the lava quickly, so it doesn't, over, uh, so it doesn't kill it. Obviously, that idea doesn't. It works with the pigs, uh, but it doesn't quite work with the chickens. So, by having this air block, you see that they're not stood. They're not quite stood in that block, all of that in that block. They're stood on the half slab. So I'm going to quickly press the button, and the lava's going to come out and retract. But if you notice, the chickens didn't die immediately. Whereas, and we got some chicken. Obviously, we didn't get that much. We got 14 in our inventory before. I'm going to quickly build uh, the model that we had before. Well, you know what? Let's go. I'm just going to put a half slab here. Now, we're going to throw in a bunch of chickens. And this is... The design that we have in our LP world currently. 
and they are stood on the block. And I will quickly press it. No change in the timing of the dispenser. But have you noticed? They've all died. They've died even before the lava is retracted. Not sure why. I think it's due to the fact that they're taking suffocation damage as well. Because they're fully immersed in the lava. But for some reason, that half block is saving the day. So what I'm doing, what I'm going to be doing now is that that's the only um, that's the only change I'm doing to it. I may raise the dispenser by one, or because it's all built on like a dirt platform, I will take out the dirt platform and I'll probably put in a half slab. But I'm going to quickly check something because um, if you saw before, the items just kind of flew out. So I'm going to quickly do that to see if the items just fly out. Otherwise, if we do it in like, um, yeah, like, otherwise, if we take the platform underneath and the items just fly off to the edge, then that kind of defeats the purpose. So I'm going to quickly cook them. And let's see. No, the items stay in there. So basically, this will be where the door is and, you know, you'll stand in and stuff like that. So anyway, uh, that's, uh, that's the new addition to the chicken farm. So that's the only changes we're doing I think we may move back to the LP world now but I did get a couple of requests on build, how I'm going to be building uh, an enderman farm um, I'm not going to take the traditional design off random people well I did take the traditional design for that but I t added my own little twist so I may do that but I will mm, I will take a I will take a look for myself so I'll see you guys in a second Hey guys, um, okay guys, there was a slight problem, um, when I went back to implement, you know, all the changes in my world. If you see this, uh, some of you might recognize this from my first episode. This is my spawn point, except... Um, when I logged in, I clicked my world, which I nicknamed, which I renamed Sand World, because um, I obviously I settled in uh, a sand. But uh, oops, oh, it's lagging. What's going on? Um, obviously, I uh, I settled in a sand biome, and wow, fraps. Well, frames per second is really laggy. I wonder why. Um, and. I nicknamed it Sandworld, you know, uh, with the edit tool. And then um, when I went to open it today to implement all the changes to farms and stuff, I um, it wouldn't open. It said the the file was corrupted, and I was like, uh oh, this isn't good. So um, I uh, went through I went through Google and all that uh, all that malarkey to find out if there was a way to recover my world. And they, um, they said they re, uh, they implemented a change called Recreate World, and I was like, "Ooh, this uh, sounds promising." So you know, I went along with it, and I pressed Recreate, and um, uh, I went through all the steps, and I ended up at the spawn point. But I'm not actually sure if um, the changes I implement, like it, the things I did after I cr generated this world are still going to be there so I, I'm quite I guess I'm quite distraught in a way but okay did not notice this Raichard would be a happy man anyway but so I'm gonna quickly run over to uh, the coordinates of my village and basically see if well if it is still there I wouldn't hold my breath, guys. I simply would not hold my breath. So, mm, I'll so I'll see you guys in a second once I uh, reach the site of my my uh, village. See you guys in a second, guys. It's um, happened. I've lost everything. It's a. Uh, it's a very sad moment. The the villagers have even moved on. I I te I tended to their crops. I increased their population. I um 
they've simply moved on. They've even got carrots now. I'm, I guess I'm sort of happy for them, but none of them recognize me. It's um, it's kind of sad in a way, but at the same time, I I look upon this as a um, time of change. Yeah. I, I kind of, I kind of lie. I, I'm totally distraught about this. It's, it's not what I expected. I guess I have to learn about world backups. Hmm. But, hmm, I don't know, guys. This is a, uh, what the? I, I don't want to uh, end on this sad note. And um. Giving it much thought, I, I basically, I came here about two hours ago, and I stood here and just looked around, just hoping there would be something in the distance that I could use. Uh, maybe something I built had survived, maybe, or, you know, something like that. And I did think of, I had a world backup. And that was uh, when I put my map up for download, basically. And um, I could uh, like pull that file into here and restore it, but I won't. I won't. Because um, this gives me a chance. I, I guess you could say this was a gift, because every time I logged on to here, I, um, I was, I guess I was um, a little unhappy with the way this was laid out because um, by then I didn't have enough villages and um, the villages that I did have did not even go into the most of the houses that I built and I would have to spend time tearing it down and it's like it's like um, spending months and months creating a masterpiece I wouldn't call my houses masterpieces but they're sort of like, you've put your heart and soul into them. And then it's like cutting an arm and a leg off them. It's not good. <laughs> yeah, so I didn't want to do that. But at the same time, I needed to change them so the houses would be usable. Uh, this, has, um, this is a wake-up call, I guess. Firstly, uh, to learn from this, I need to w make world backups. And... Um, Secondly, uh, I gotta treat these guys a bit better because um, mm, I didn't build the suitable houses and stuff like that. And looking at this, if you compare it to the layout of, um, if you compare it to the layout of the village I had before, it's changed. It's completely changed. There, I mean. When I first got this village, there was um, there was a lake flowing in front of a house, and this this had happened to like literally every other house, and there was like a cactus in front of one of the doors. And I'm like, how are you supposed to get out again? So I guess these guys have done quite well for themselves, well-ish, and um, I guess I'm just gonna move on. That's what I'm saying. So. What I'm going to say now is I will uh, harvest some things from this village and I will uh, pillage some um, wool off the temple and make a bed and I will just leave. There is, um, there is nothing to keep me here anymore. My, um, my marvellous base that I built over there, well, it wasn't marvellous, it was... Um, it was vast and it was sort of what I was looking for. My pumpkin farm, my, my, um, my kind of little uh, remedial cactus farm because it didn't work properly. And um, the mob spawner I never built and the zombie spawner that I actually found another zombie spawner um, whilst I was derping around over there somewhere. It was, um, there was like a kind of a hole in the ground and um, yeah. So, I'm going to show you guys something that I'm going to do on screen. And, uh, yeah. So, I'm going to quickly exit. 
and I'm going to go into here. So this is um, this is my current menu because I can no longer my old uh, open my old sand world. Here's the recreate button. This is my enemy. I have made an. You are on my list, buddy. <laughs> so this is uh, my sand world, and uh, this is a copy of it. And it's survival mode cheats. This was made before um, I knew what I was doing, basically. So I went to advanced menus and I was like, what, what does cheats mean? So I was like, you know what, I might need in the future. So I left it on. That's kind of, um, I mean, these are all weird. I mean, this one got changed to creative mode. So I don't know what happened. And honestly, I haven't touched these in quite a while. Uh, I mean, I touched this one a couple of days ago um, when I was recording the other um, the other sections. But yeah, I was I did a I sat down and I thought about it. I wanted to have one theme run through my um, run through my whole thing. And what is, I, let me guess, you guys, what is the coolest like? Um, well, in my eyes, the coolest uh, franchise out there. Steampunk. I mean, I've always wanted a steampunk gadget. It could do nothing at all, and I'll still be fascinated by it. So, this is how I'm gonna rename it. I'm gonna rename Steam uh, Punk. Wait, is steampunk one word? Yeah, I'm just gonna write it as one word. Topia. There we go. I've officially renamed Steampunktopia. And hmm. You know what? I'm gonna keep the name, but I'm gonna delete it. No. One sec, I'm gonna change it back. So the sand world will always be special in my heart, but I I guess um, it has no longer use anymore. It it's a bit like people when they leave their old old world. I'm gonna keep it as a memorial, but honestly, I will probably use it to uh, as a creative world and stuff like that. So I'm gonna freshly generate a world. I'm going to go. I'm gonna go on to new adventure. Stewie and uh, Sapphire and all the other pets will always be in my heart, but they are they are but a distant memory now. So I'm gonna name this one Steampunk Topia. And yep, survival more world options. Generate structures on allow cheats. Here we go off. And you guys have seen me do this, so uh, you know. There is no, um, there will be no temptation of uh, slash game mode or slash XP. What is slash game mode? I guess the XP will give you just anyway. Bonus chest. I I would want that. <laughs> so let's see. Super flat. No large biomes. Default. We're gonna go with large biomes again because uh, I quite like the generation of that. So we're done and then create new world. So we are going on a new adventure as it slowly loads downloading terrain whoa I'm I'm falling I'm falling duh ah, no I'm falling someone help me duh ah, no save me Satan save me duh ah. uh, oh if I guess what, what's happening to this world nothing's generated and I'm falling I'm falling and you can clearly see in this. Oh God, no! This is bad. This is bad. This is this is terrible. Oh, okay. Oh, um, this happened to me before. Ah, oh, there's a chest. So I'm gonna quickly get out of here and um, we'll go exploring. Whoa, we um, we're in a swampland biome. Okay. Ooh, there's plenty of water. So. This will be the start of uh, a new adventure, guys. And 
the designs I'm going to use in this world will be steampunk based, so a lot of cog shapes. I mean, they're not going to move, but, you know, the designs will be cool. So, um, yeah, a lot of cog... Is it just me, or is this swamp tree especially tall? Let's see what's in this chest. Ah, oh, we've got some wood. And uh, planks, pickaxe, and an axe. Yeah, so... I'll, so I'll, I'll basically I'll run round and uh, I will select a suitable re a suitable starting place. But um, for now, guys, the episode is getting quite long, and um, frankly, I've made an embarrassment of myself by uh, by being quite miserable over this, and I don't want it to hold it back. Uh, the friends I have made on the journey, um, the villagers that I have t looked after and stuff like that would not want that. So I will not do that. I will not sulk anymore and I will carry on it, for them. I will, I will keep my chin up and I will move forward. So I'll see. Ooh, there's sheep here. There's a brown sheep too. This is rare. So I will uh, start my new adventure here guys and next time you see me I will be at my uh, new designated uh, settling spot as it were and we will, I will have something up and running by then and if, uh, and I will also have a, a couple of pro projects running maybe by then but um, yeah. So this is uh, Klaus signing off on a very, very sad note. And uh, there's another note I wanted to say. Uh, I'm sniffling again. Basically, um, recently I've been quite busy with um, lab reports and university stuff. How big is this swamp biome? There's water everywhere. Oh, I wouldn't mind going on an island, to be honest. And... Um, I've gotten lazier and lazier and it's become very very noticeable so I'm going to utilize that I mean most people don't do the whole oh don't forget to comment and rate and subscribe and stuff like that so uh, and I thought you know what I'm just going to utilize my laziness I'm just going to not do it mainly because uh, from the videos I normally watch whilst I'm working nobody does it anymore and I'm not going to use the excuse that I'm going to follow the trend and not do it. It's just simply because I'm a lazy, fat bastard. Sorry for the language there, guys, but it's just a, who I am. So, yeah, I'm not even going to say that anymore. Ooh, food. Yay. So I'll, I'll see you guys next time, guys. Have, uh, have a great time. Well, have a nice evening, day or night, uh, depending on um, when you're going to be watching this, but, um, but yeah, I'm going to be signing off and uh, get some sleep, and tomorrow will be a fresh day, see you guys next time, bye for now.